Hello. Now I will show you how to crack this crack me nine by using a uh, cheat engine, and this time we are going to use a uh, Lua script. So the way that you find the address that stores this number is by using the same method that I showed you in the previous videos. You select the value type as string, then you search for a number which you enter here. Then you keep changing the number and click, keep clicking next scan until you get only one result. And then you add this result to the table. Next, you right click on this and then find out what accesses this address. And then you will find this list of all the instructions that access that address. Then keep on clicking on the check button you will find that only this one will keep increasing in count then you know that this is the instruction which is executing whenever you click the check next you click on show assembler after highlighting this and you will come to the address so we need to now trace the, the user module which is using this uh, instruction notice we are in the system not in the user module so to trace and locate the instruction in the user module that makes use of this instruction, we will right click and do a break and trace. After you've done that, after you've set the break and trace breakpoint, come back here and click check. Then you will get a result. The result looks like this. So in this result, at first, everything will be in a collapsed state like that. So what you need to do is, you either can trace one by one <coughs> like this. You can un expand all. And then here is the one which uh, you found earlier. Over, over here. This instruction. This is the one. Alright, so this is very low down. So now you will find that there are many of the higher layers which make use of this function, this instruction. So you want to know ultimately who makes use of this instruction? The answer is this user module, uh, the check button. So the check button will show uh, this uh, checkbox. So the function we show this checkbox is ultimately the one which is the outermost layer this one so the outermost layer is here so you can just go here and click on this and you can see you arrive at this location and this is the location where you find the jump or that can show you either the wrong key message or the correct key message so in this case here, it is not jumping, <coughs> it is jumping, it is not jumping and therefore it is showing the wrong key message, this, this message. So the easy solution is just to right click and replace this with code that nothing, that does nothing to no op it. But this time we don't want to no op, we want to use uh, scripting, Lua scripting. So we just want to practice law scripting. So to practice law scripting on this, we you just click on tools and just uh, click on auto assemble, click template, auto in A or B injection, click OK and click OK, and then delete everything in here. <coughs> delete everything, but we keep this string. We keep this string. And then we delete everything else. And because <coughs> we are going to make this a law script, we have to put a curly brace there and tell the cheat engine that this is a law script. And then over here, we need to change this command symbol to reflect the law script command. Open command and delete this 
and close comment. Now this part here is important because we can refer to what we are doing. So that's why when we select template, we select the AOB injection so that we can get this inject put inside our our script so we can refer to it. So we have an enable part, we should also have a disable part. <coughs> After that, just change this code to be to become to become this script over here. Like that. So make the changes to reflect this. So now I explain what all this does. So first thing you do is you create a function call it my func and then this function is created outside of the enable session and then in the enable session you want to only activate the script the function when you are pressing the F12 key if you don't have this F12 key to detect it the moment you click OK when the moment you click attach to assign the cheat table this function will run but we don't want it to run we want it to run only when you press the F12 key <coughs> so that's why we write like this F12 key you can change this to other keys on your keyboard and then if you press F12 key while activating this script my function will be called so this is my function and then when you deactivate the script it will show the message disable so just to show you what it does so now if I were to press F12 key on my keyboard while pressing F12 key I activate it so what that does is it will alter the the bytes at this location to become EB originally it was 74 so now if I now it becomes a jump JMP so if I click check now it shows correct key because it is jumping down here to show the correct key now if I were to deactivate the script if I go here and deactivate the script by clicking this notice what happens to this byte it writes back 74 and this message pops up showing disable so now the original is 74 if I enable again if I press F12 key and while holding down F12 key I activate it notice what happens to 74 click OK it becomes EB changes to a jump and if I deactivate it it changes back to 74 alright so now I explain the script so this part here the get what engine menu item 5 do click is to disable is to clear the is to clear the this table right this table this uh, window only pop up if you are using the printf statement like this one but we are not using any printf statement so this one doesn't pop up but this uh, window is useful if you are debugging right is debugging so if you are debugging then you can put printf statement anywhere in here and this will pop up and, be, and this function here is to clear the this console so that it, it will not be messed when you see it but we leave it in there although it's not using for anything we are not using it for now we just leave it there so now here we are creating a AOB string this AOB string is the pattern unique pattern for this uh, location that we want to crack it's 7422C745BC so that is our unique pattern for the AOB string and then after storing this string in this variable we will then call the Lua function called AOB scan and the parameter we pass it the string that we created up here then after scanning it if it is successful or not it will return a result and we store the result in AOB result variable if the string is not found if this array of bytes is not found AOB result will be nil 
So over here we need to test whether it's new. If the result is not new, that means he managed to find the pattern, then you will perform these uh, instructions. It will show the message box, dialog box, found A or B, and then we append, we concatenate the result to it to show how many how many results we found. So the get count is a big function for this AOB result that will tell you how many result is found. Then this parameter here is the type of message dialog you want to show. In this case he wants to show the information dialog so we put M in empty information. If you want to know what kind of dialog is available you can google search for message dialog cheat engine then it will come out the a list of results and then the last parameter <coughs> mb ok is the type of button that you want to show in this case you want to show the ok button next is the important part this is where we write the bytes so the first parameter of this is the address the address AOB result 0 refers to this location and at that location we want to override it with this bytes so we put OXEB OXEB is the jump instruction if you don't know how I get this EB what you do is you just go here and assemble a, a jump instruction first right now it's JE let's say we want to J, we want to convert this to a jump so that we can see what is the change in the bytes here we can do a fake assemble just assemble and change this to JMP JMP and notice the changes that happen here it changed to EB right so that is how I know that the our script we need to use EB because we are looking at this originally it was 7422 now it's EB222 so we need to change this 74 override it with EB okay let me undo this now <coughs> so that's how I managed to get the the this EB and then the else part will only trigger if the AOB result is nil. It will show you the message AOB not found. And then the empty warning is it will show you using the warning dialog box. And then when you enable the script while pressing F12, it will enable it will run the function. Now when you disable the script, you will undo what you did by rewriting back 74 to AOB result zero. AOB result zero is the uh, this one you will write back 74 to it and then show you the message dialog with the message disable using the information type dialog and then with the button ok so that is how this thing works that is all for this video thank you for watching